Hello, I'm Edge Lucy. Welcome back, of course, to Hunts of Vine 4. We are playing the Man the Guns DLC, which is out in like two days' time, I think, when this video goes up. And of course, the 1.6 update. We are playing as Mexico, and we are busy going fascist. In fact, we're about to get in the Legion of Christ, which will give us some daily fascism. And of course, a reduction to consumer good factories, but we also get a reduction to our stability. So let's uh, get into overdrive. Check on you, you're all good. We can get a political advisor or a chief of the army. It might be worth getting a political advisor, actually. Kind of industry. Uh, infrastructure, civil factory construction speed. 10%? That's that's decent. Consumer good factories, minus 5%. Also good, but we don't really have enough consumer good factories that to really affect us, I believe. Let's give a quick check. Um, we've got two. Yeah, okay, that would make some sense. Um, what else do we have? War industrious we can't get yet. We need military budget review. Financial expert, because you're good factories. 10% civilian speed. This 10% would be pretty nice, but we need agricultural credit bank for that. Trade deal, democracy, communism. Fascism. Generate war goal tension limit. Ooh. You're pretty nice. Yeah, I think we've got to go for Jose Valconcelos. I mean, this is also quite nice, but I I'll save for now. I think we've got better things coming in terms of what we can use. We want to get you. I've been informed, by the way, that it's not... Sedillo, it's double L, X is a, a Y, and the I gets elongated into like an E. So it's Sedillo? That sounds right. General Sedillo. 10% uh, division attack. Which is nice, but again, I want to save the political power just now. Getting that attack right now will literally do nothing for us until we get a war, so we might as well just save it and then take the option later. Slavia came to Bulgaria. That's going to go well. Transfer lands to church. We can get up to Catholic state with that. Nationalized church lands. That's a quick check. Legion of Christ. Does that make us a Catholic state? Yeah, it does make us a Catholic state, so we don't need to do that. Uh, what else is there? Ban democratic parties. We lose some stability. Maybe. I think we're just going to sit as where we are. I'm quite happy with what we got at the moment. Yep, they're getting wiped out. It's the last hurrah for Republican Spain. Not that we're annoyed about that. They're fascists and, you know. Woo, fascism. Construction. I'm pretty sure we're going to go more resources at this rate. We don't really have much that we can export, which is a shame. I'd love to do some more export, but we've got a little bit going out. That's fine for now. We could always change our export law. Hmm. We could, but I'm not sure the bonuses would be worth it. It's easier if I just 
us to just make guns without metal at the moment. I'm not sure how we do it, but we're doing it, so that's fine with me. Uh, we could grab computing machines a little bit ahead of time. For now, I'm just going to grab support equipment. Because we kind of need it. Legion of Christ. We need more than 40% support for the UNS. And then we can get Crusade Against Atheism. In the meantime, we can go for church schools. What's our support? 31%. Daily change. It's going up quite nicely. Okay. But we will need to push on that a little bit further. Hmm. Superior Firepower Doctrine. Okay, if we get this guy, we get a 10% bonus to Superior Firepower Doctrine. Maybe we should be going with Superior Firepower? It's straight up better than our, our other choice. I mean, he's more expensive, obviously. I'm not going to make the choice now. Again, we can do other things in the meantime. The Chinese United Front forms. Ooh. An unstable alliance. Cheng Si joins. Zibi Senma joins. There we go. National Spain it is. Hi there. I should have sent someone to observe. Uh, end of the Spanish Civil War. Interesting. We can't show schools. Okay. When you go to war... I'll probably ask to send an attaché. Right, and we'll have you train them up. Um, have we got anyone who's particularly good at that? Recovery rate and attack, a new... Reckless. Reconnaissance and you. You know, Sadilo, you can be in charge of them. Ah. Okay, maybe not. We'll put someone else in charge. You're in charge. Enjoy. Uh, maybe not in the Yucatan. Maybe just spread you around there. Yeah, we're down infantry equipment again. We're not making quite enough to really fill everyone out. But we're still building up our... Oh, we're actually almost up to our cap. Hmm. Okay. Guan Cli joins the Chinese United Front. It looks like Japan's going to have some really stiff opposition. Japan declares war on China, and we got church schools. Right, hi there. Why will they not accept? Too low opinion about us. <gasps> I mean, we do have different ideology groups, it is true. I will start improving your opinion, because I will be flipping ideology soon. So, I think this is the time to do it. Over here... I'm really delaying about this decision on discipline. Like, ah. We could go superior firepower, but it doesn't have a bonus for the number of people. And I really like the bonus for the number of people, especially in somewhere like Mexico, where we're gonna not have the number of factories we need. Uh, 
Uh, I think we have to make a decision now. I think we have to pick one of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the cheat of pausing the game to have a think about it without having to have you deliberate over like me spending half an hour of bumming and ahhing. So I've decided... Mass Assault. It, it has to be Mass Assault at the end of the day. We need the bonus it provides. There's two other arguments, right? Grand Battle Plan is boring. That's defensive. Um, mobile Warfare, just because it's got the same bonuses, which is not really a great argument. We don't have the technological stuff to do most of the motorized, let alone the tanks. Superior Firepower. There's an argument to go superior firepower just because if you drop the size of your of your armies and you make them really, really small, like we're talking like four units big, um, you can get very crazy, crazy amounts of firepower because you can just stack support artillery and artillery and have a couple of units of infantry there and then just have a lot, a lot, a lot of them in each army. The downside is, of course, that it does fill up the 24 armies and then you need an army group and then you end up getting having field marshal etc blah 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 it does allow you to have a lot of firepower but you would need a little bit of support equipment and you would need more production of artillery uh you can cut down on the infantry by how not have their infantry equipment because they're smaller units which helps industry wise but i think the probably the most vanilla way to go is to go this way and go mass mobilization and it's also too shorter which is a really good thing it really does benefit us going for this short run because it means we don't have to waste a lot of our research. So we're going to start a mass assault and we will want to grab the political advisor. No, sorry, the theorist, military theorist. Okay. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. Interesting times indeed. What's our support for the 36? Okay. Not there just yet. We could go... Revolutionary Women. We get a civilian factory. Women's Suffrage. Uh, ooh... We need elections for this. I don't know if we're going to get that in time. 0% research speed. Yeah, I'll probably ignore that then. Uh, Hispanic culture goes straight down here. Spanish Civil War refugees. Veterans. And then run down to actually getting to war. Or the alternative is we actually start working on some of this stuff. Like factory up at 10%. Research slots there. Military budget review. We could go depoliticize the army. Ah, we need to have uh, gone ban political militias. Okay, we can't do that. Which means we can't do professional army. Which means we will go revolutionary women. Which gets us a military factory and army experience and allows women to become military pilots we're good fascists uh sure yeah let's grab revolutionary women In the meantime, 37%. Yuan joins the Chinese United Front. I really do want to get an advisor over there nice and quick. Support weapons. Trying to think what of these really benefits us. Like, maybe if you were refining. But really, we're focused on one thing and one thing alone at this point, and that's trying to just get people out. Uh, no, into our artillery. 
the buff is worth it. Now we are gearing up for war. They're trained. They're working on it. What decision we got now? Second Mexican Revolution. To complete one of the following must be true. Does not have Catholic state. More than 6% stability. Current ruling party is communist. Ah, okay. We really need to up our stability nice and quick. Damn. Go 3% there. Replace, uh, replace Catholic state with powerful state. Uh, we need Catholic state to be able to do that. So I can't do that one. Okay, I'm thinking we're gonna have to go for a 10 public mass to just start bumping that stability. But it's gonna be a long road. Excavation. Uh, maybe a buff to fuel refining. We're going to get an atheist insurrection. Oh, joy. We've got to deal with this before it really starts off, because if this kicks off, we're going to have issues. We need to not be slowed down in our sprint for this. Revolutionary women. The Anschluss of Austria. Troops across the Austrian border taking control of the country. No fighting has been reported in the German soldiers greeted with crowds. Oh, hello. Germany got bigger. Right. Can we do... 40%. How close are we? We are at 40%. Okay, so it just is like a rounding error. More than 40%? Okay, we'll just wait like a couple of days and that should go up. Oh, there we go. Right, do it. And assign divisions again. We'll send you over here. We'll just have you train. Infantry equipment. You know what? I'm gonna not build any more for the time being. Just because we need to start building up a little bit of supply of this. Okay, AC Insurrection. The wicked men we thought we defeated have rallied for a final futile battle against the servants of God. Agents of Satan such as Vincetti Lombardo and his evil and his tyrannical revolutionary minions are streaming out of the dens of evil armed with rifles and bayonets to skewer the faithful. We must put down this attack on the body of Christ. All the work we have done to keep alive and increase the flame of party will come to an end in the 20th century of knowledge of the laws of our Redeemer and King will be forgotten. That is your hour and the power of darkness. Okay, this is your hour. All right. Mexican Soviet Republic. Ugh. And they do not have the forces to oppose us. Oh, actually, we lost half our forces. Very well. Maybe they do have the forces to oppose us. Uh, let's stop your plan. Get your front line here. And a front line here. Yep. And the general turn against us, which makes sense. We'll grab you. These are field marshal traits. I can't really go for those. I need a I need a general. Promotion cost decreased, sure. And we'll get ourselves you. A 
defensive doctrine. That way they won't lose as much for moving. And I will want like four units here. Right. Three civilian factories. Uh, work on building me another civilian factory here. Let's do this. We to cancel our national focus. Thanks, guys. That was great. Really helpful. Uh, what are we going to do? And go for enforce the callus or repeal it. Mm. I think we have to repeal. That gives us some stability. But it's too late for that now. I guess if we crush them, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we could start strike breaking or go military. You know what? Military budget review. We need to do it at some stage. Second Mexican Revolution. The forces of the church and revolution once again come into conflict in Mexico. With the Catholic parties and social movements gaining in strength, secularist forces are launching an armed rebellion to take control of the government. The Red Brigades are forming after decades of inactivity, while defectors from the federal military are trying to rally in states still controlled by the anti-church governors. Okay. Well, let's also get ourselves a uh, path up here. Go three times speed. No, we'll sign you here because then you can do that as well. Right, come on. Got to close the distance. Good so far. No, go around and cut them off. Around the enemy. Okay, keep that up. Try and pull you around, but you're probably going to get away. We've got to try and divide them. Divide and conquer. Go for the capital as well. How long till you get there? One day, then we'll surround that. There we go. Surrounded. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? Help out with this. They do need to be defeated. Right, you're surrounded now. They're going to try and come back here. Ah, oh, they're probably going to manage it as well. Netherlands maintains trade neutrality. You know what? Stop and attack them. Slow them down. Alright, so far so good. Come on. There we go. Now you're defending that gap. Go straight through. Come on, 91. We've got his four times speed. We've got that. If you can just hold them there for the moment. Ninety six. Great. The only resupply that they've got that I'm aware of is their capital. So, I'm going to deliberately try and cut it off while you hold these guys in place at... Well, this is another supply point, actually. I'd like to finish this before the military budget review, but I doubt it's going to be possible. Uh, I guess I'll take your capital. Oh, what was your capital, I guess? It moved. We will get that division attack bonus. It'll help us a little bit here. There we go, done. They were annexed. We got all the stuff. Great. That was a nice fast civil war. We did lose a lot of already trained units and equipment, which I'm not as pleased about. Oh well. I'll train them in Mexico City. Hmm. Not pleased about that. Oh well. Munich Agreement. Germany demands the Sudetenland and Czechoslovakia have been bowed into and they gave them. Okay, cool. Uh, yep, you're good. We lost a load of generals because a load of them went to the communist side or didn't want to work for a Catholic state because they were involved with the previous civil war against the church, which makes sense. I mean, I blame them, but it makes sense. Oh, you need to be. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'm going to go at five times speed now. Yeah. 
into our artillery. We get 100% bonus to the next one. We're going to do it nice and quick, even if it's ahead of time. Does it's worth really sprinting too. Um, we do get a bonus on this. Infantry equipment. Oh, the support weapon. I think we'll go... Support weapon. And now... Crusade against atheism. Let's get the fascists in charge. You know what? Next one's going to need to be a military factory. Mass assault. Continue with mass assault. We're going pocket defense. One of the benefits of mass assault is it allows you to have more troops in an area for less supply. So you can get more troops on the front line, rather than having them sitting behind waiting for supply to open up. Okay, good so far. We managed to come through that one. Uh, I would say relatively unscathed, but we did lose some of our best generals and we did lose a, a lot of people who I'd have loved to have kept. Could go finance expert. Nah, I'm gonna wait until we go. Uh, Mankeko capitulate the fourth international. Communist delegates around the world. How many internationals will there be? Come on. Once we go fascist. And we'll grab infantry equipment one. So go fascists, they'll love us. Sikyang joins the Chinese United Front. Bam. Done. Crusade against atheism complete. And we are now fascist. Hi there. Would you accept it? You wouldn't accept an attaché. Excellent. Uh, we will send an attaché, which is accepted. That's great. I'm really happy with that. Triumph for Synarchism. We could gain fascism support and mobilization speed. This gets us a three military factory. I think that's the way to go. Hmm. Bonus to land doctrine up here. Yeah. I think we go for you. And this is where we're now, we're done with our internal stuff. We are Catholic Mexico. We are sorted internally. Now, it's mainly about the focus externally. I mean, still we're obviously building up our industry, but the focus for political stuff now becomes external to us. And oof, that's a nice army experience we've got now. For now though, we're gonna cut it there. I've been out really soon, hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, like, subscribe. But until next time, let me know what you feel like down below in terms of Catholic in Mexico, do you, do you rate our chances? I mean, we still have the United States above, which is scary. And we did lose some of our army, so we'll see how it goes. But until next time, stay shiny.